see it for you. It's year 1698, and our professor, Dr. Henning Brand, has been working tirelessly in search of the philosopher's stone. This object is said to allow its bearer to convert worthless metals into gold. We meet Henning Brand near the end of his quest. Mr. Brand! Yes. Right, are here to see your work. Well, I think they're here to see your work. They were queuing up outside looking in the window, but I think one of them was taking a nap in the house. Uh, okay. Now, Assistant A, how many times have I told you to call me Doctor? You could know. Yes. Maybe that's times. Uh, now, remember, I have been calling myself Doctor for 25 years, but I'm not actually a doctor, by the way. <laughs> but you should be doing the same. For I, Doctor Henry Brandt, I'm on the verge of discovering the Philosopher's Stone. So, how's he getting on? I can see he's still playing around with urine. Yes, he is. He has assistant C to make him 60 gallons of urine. I mean, when you're right, I mean 60 gallons. 60 gallons of urine. I don't even think I can find 60 gallons of urine. Yes. Well, <coughs> how bad is it though? How bad is what? How bad is he doing? Yeah, yeah. terrible so far. Wait until Assistant C shows up. He's weird. It's alive! It's finally alive! Good, I think you're alive. Frankenstein, we're not doing that much. Uh, uh, Dr. Hanningbag, um, I got the 60 yards of you, just like you asked for. Assistant C! Well done, Mark! Uh, 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 I'd give you a handshake, Harry Potter, a nice stellar little fist bump. Uh, right, well done with that. What I now need you to do is I need you to get back to work, but do not touch anything else. You remember the last time you played with my experiments? Ah, yes, yes, yes. You can remember. Uh, I set the lab on fire. Sorry, I didn't hear you. What did you do? I set the lab on fire. And? And set the lab on fire. Well, Guys, assistants, all of you get back to work. Well, Dr. Brand, I've been running some calculations, and I really don't think it's possible to turn lead into gold. Assistant B, you have such a fixed mindset. Scientists always keep going to try and make things work over and over again. Uh, I don't think your Philosopher's Stone is going to work this time, though. Yeah, and isn't the Philosopher's Stone in Harry Potter? Well, Assistant A. It is A, isn't it? A. Um, Assistant A, how long have you been working for me? Um, I think, I think two years. Two, two, two days? Two days? Two hours? Two hours? Oh, it's so hard to find good assistants these days. Would you like to be my assistant? No? Okay. Oh, as assistant A, I need you to do a very important job. Yes? I need you to find me. Be calm. I need you to find me a retort and stand. A retort and stand. You understand? Uh, no. A retort. Retort ah, and yeah, stand. Yeah, sure. A retort and stand. Okay, off you go. Okay. Go! Okay, bye, Mr. Brown. I was a doctor. Oh, no! Oh, assistant B, you are my most able assistant. How goes our urine? Oh, my God, now shall we? The urine is. Riddling! Still urine, I'm afraid. That's rather disappointing. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's so. Still urine, I'm afraid. Okay. Still okay, I have a plan. That plan involves much more urine. Assistant C! Yes, yes. I need you to go and get me some more urine. Come on, man, you try to get more urine. <laughs> oh, I'll see you at the later, boys. <laughs> Problem with this lad, Dr. Brand. Your wife didn't let you have any lumps, no? 
I think we should go ahead and try that. It's in front line of inquiry, maybe, like, um, boiling water. I'm pretty sure I'll get on the same results. So it's not like just as good. Okay, system B, no one else is here. I'm going to let you in on the plan. Okay, so this is a very, very tip top secret plan. So, I've compiled a list of all those cleared for Operation P-Stone. And they would be? Okay, you and me, obviously. My wife, all my wife's friends, the gardener, the gardener's friends, and a gentleman I met in the 7-Eleven called Berg. So as you can clearly see, this is top secret stuff! I can clearly see that, Mr. Grant. Okay, and this time it will be a surefire success. Thank I am sure of it. Can I ask why? Uh, okay. No, apparently you can't. Why should I? Right, so I have a very special task for you, Assistant B, because there's a teensy wincy problem with the plan. Assistant C requires a lot more, 100 plus. And you'd like me to go next? Yes, there is not enough stock in the whole of the Malaysia. I need you to collect as much as possible. Not again. Okay. That is. Uh, I don't know. Mr. Brad, Mr. Brad, Mr. Brad, Mr. Brad! I'm going to point yes, you out. Yes, what is it? Like, I'm back. Okay. Hennig is a lively member of the Tusk. Oh, Assistant D! I said with taught, not with port. Oh, that makes so much more sense, because I was trying to find the band, but I couldn't really find the band. Uh, uh, Dr. Hemming? Uh, yes, Assistant C. Uh, the, the, uh, the Wii is uh, doing something. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure what it is. This is only my handbook. Wow. Whoa. Okay. So. I definitely have created something. But you know what this means? It means I've not created the Philosopher's Stone! No surprise there. Quickly, Assistant D! Turn out the lights! Uh, I'm going to need to give it a name. Now, since I'm totally up on my Greek, I'm thinking Phosphorus. The Bridge of Light.